shalom everyone um or hello peace and good tidings um so i decided that i would make this introductory video about myself and um hopefully let you all know a little bit about me so um i go by the name of judea um it's not my given birth legal name but it is the Hebraic name that was given to me um, and what, my, what I mean by Hebraic name is that I am a Hebrew Israelite um, first thing people think when I say that is cult <laughs> or religion or extremist and um, I can say it's none of that. Um, I can't really say I chose to be a Hebrew Israelite. It was something that I believe I was born as. Um, I believe Hebrew Israelites is a nationality. Um, I believe that through history and biblical prophecy you can trace um in, in in a biblical timeline as well you can trace who the people are that the bible was originally is originally about um so um there is prophecy in the Bible that basically says, or there's parts in the Bible that says God um, gave instructions. He made a covenant with the people that he took out of Egypt. And he gave them these blessings about being um, the head of all nations, being a light to the world, um, being an example for every other culture or every other nation um, and that they would be prosperous in everything that they do. However, if they did not keep up their end of the covenant, then there would be a downside, kind of like a contract. This is the contract and you know, you make your payments on time and this is what you get to have, but if you don't get your payments in on time, this is the negative result of it. Same thing with the covenant that was made. Um, and through what we call those curses, um, what the Bible says are curses to the people, the children of Israel, um, the Hebrew Israelites, those curses can be traced to the African-American race. Um, there are beliefs that other races, um, and I use that term loosely, are included. Um, there is a lot of strong evidence that points to it, but I'm not here to, um, to cheerlead for those other nationalities, or not, not nationalities, those other races. Um, I'm an African American. I can speak on myself. I can speak on the curses that I've seen in the neighborhoods that I've grown up in, um, to my life in corporate America, um, in financial institutions, um, not just myself, but other people. Um, the African American race as a whole, not saying that there aren't exceptions to the rule, but as a whole, um, we as a people fit those curses. 99.9999999% um, so whereas people may say that this is a religion or a cult it's not what it is is people who have found their identity before the enslavement we um, were subjected to here in the Americas we um, we are reclaiming our culture we are taking on dietary laws and um, clothing customs 
um, rules and regulations that was given to us. We call them the law, statutes, and commandments. But rules and regulations that was given to us by the Creator, God. Um, so, whereas people can get a, a misconception that this is a cult, um, I can say that that is due to when someone has become Ifrit or Hebrew or have crossed over from the ways of the world to the ways um, that the Most High has instructed us to do, the, to be set apart, your life changes. Um, you don't eat the way you used to eat. You don't dress the way you used to dress. You don't partake in activities you used to partake in. You don't celebrate holidays, what I call holidays, um, man-made traditions. You don't follow those anymore. You completely separate yourself from society, which is what was called for us to do by God. Um, so your family and your friends seeing this drastic change and the person that they know think that you're brainwashed. They think that you are um, in a cult. They think that you are consumed. And in all actuality, it's not a cult. You're not brainwashed. You are consumed, however. And for me, I can only speak for myself. My consumption was, and still is, me learning what is expected of me. Um, there's no way that when learning the law, statutes, and commandments and trying to be obedient to the Most High Elohim, there is no way that you can halfway do it. You know, you either make changes or you don't. There is no fine line that you can tread. Um, there is no fine line that you should tread obedience to the most high changes you it sends you through um, what I call a spiritual purging you go through various emotions from sadness to anger to confusion to shock and disbelief um, to understanding and acceptance it's kind of like those five stages of grief that psychologists have um, have have studied in people when they go through you know a form of grief um, because you are technically dying I wouldn't say a physical death but a carnal death a worldly death the the person that you have always known to be for yourself is falling away and you are becoming a new creature. You are becoming born again. Um, so during that time, yes, you are consumed. I literally shut out everyone, boyfriend, friends, family, except for my children, of course, and my mother. But I shut everybody out and I buried my face deep in the Bible and in learning Hebrew words and trying to... Um, regain my identity um, of who I am in this spiritual truth. So, um, because I was told that I was changing and I wasn't the same and, you know, um, things like that, I kind of tried to balance. Um, I tried to balance myself in this truth and myself outside of this truth to appease my loved ones and that in all honesty is harder than just shutting everybody and everything out <laughs> um that put me through more of mental anguish than anything than than in the beginning um of isolating myself um of the purging and depression that i went through um dying away from this world you know, trying to walk that fine line, it, it gave me more stress and more of a mental anguish. Um, 
And I say all of this to help any woman that is new to this truth understand that there is no halfway Kodesh. There is no halfway holy and set apart. You're either all in or you're all out. Um, and your loved ones, your friends, your true friends, they'll understand. They'll love you all the same if they respect you. And as hard as it may seem to lose a loved one or a friend, you know, if they truly don't respect you for your spiritual beliefs and who you are or who you grow into, are they really your friend? So, um... With the Hebrew Israelites, I would say that there are some extremists. Um, there are definitely some crazy ones out there. There are definitely, just like with any religion, such as Christianity and Islam, you know, um, there are some extremist Hebrews. There are people that say and do horrific things in the name of faith um, within any religion. So basically what I say, if you are an African American, that you have ancestors that were brought over here on slave ships, read the Bible. Read the Bible on your own. Don't let anyone guide your study but the Most High. Pray um, and read. And if you read the Bible and you truly study, someone telling you something that is extreme and untrue, you would know for yourself and would be able to identify that because you yourself have read the book. Excuse me. <laughs> um, I am in a place that's pretty isolated, so I am. I don't have any camps, um, which are basically churches. Um, I don't have a camp that I can commune with. I have through Instagram and Facebook met some women who I chat with and we have been moral support for each other um, coming into this truth and dealing with the difficulties of being in this truth um, but I guess that if you really want to know who you are outside of what society tells you you are if you have grown up feeling that there's a chunk of history missing that you're being lied to about something that things don't add up and that you are more special than what the world tells you you are read the Bible read Deuteronomy the book of Deuteronomy and the reason why I say the book of Deuteronomy it is the last book of the Torah which is the first five books of the Bible it summarizes the law statutes and commandments it summarizes the um, blessings and the curses it summarizes everything for you in that one chapter um, if you really just want to you know get to it um, if that's what you choose to do, still go back to Genesis and read it all the way through. Um, but read Deuteronomy and you'll know who you are. They can't lie to you about that. And the Bible, whereas it makes absolutely no sense when you are trying to fill the people in different parts of Africa with blonde hair and blue eyes without sunburn and skin cancer 
um, living out this life doing harsh work as slaves. Who's always been slaves? Who's been repeated slaves throughout the biblical history? And I just sidetracked there, but who's been slaves throughout biblical history every time they disobeyed their God? Who was brought here as slaves? Um, when you put us as a people in the place of what you have been told to believe makes a lot of sense. Um, see, this is getting pretty long. I'm hitting 16 minutes here. So I reiterate, read. I really reiterate, uh, be all in or be all out. Um, but know that things will get easier and it's truly worth it. Shalom.